So today we're going to look at IP address management features within the HP IMC base platform. Um, the first reason is because spreadsheets just really suck. Um, it's always better to have this in a centrally accessible place where everybody can agree. You know, you've got a central authority for all the IP address assignments in the um, in your environment. And the best part about this is it's actually free. This is included free of charge in the IMC base platform. So this just might be one of those features that you're not using and you could be. Let's take a look. So here we are on the IMC um, homepage. So we're going to go to resource and we're going to go into the terminal access. So this is where all the IP address management features are located. So one of the ones which we've um, seen previously, um, in case you don't know about this, is the real time location. And this will allow you to just put in an IP address or a MAC address and locate where it is currently in the network environment. Right, so this is always going to work better if you have full discovery. Um, if you don't have all your devices discovered, this may be kind of hit and miss. Um, the other one that I wanted to cover briefly is the historical access log. So again, this is kind of the same functions as the real-time location, but this will allow you to track where IP addresses have been over time, as well as query for the specific IP addresses. You do have to turn it on, so that's that little checkbox to periodically retrieve data. Once we've done that and it's run a, a few times, we can go in and we can actually query for a specific IP address. So and we can put the terminal IP address or MAC address or name. Um, name, there is a, a add-on tool that we'll be able to pull out of Microsoft DHCP, Linux DHCP. Um, so that's available. You might want to install that. So the last feature we're going to look at here is the IP address allocation. So this is really the, the place where we're going to be able to track all the IP addresses assigned and some that haven't been assigned yet in our organization, right? This is the uh, what's going to get, get us away from those spreadsheets. So we've got um, different pools of IP addresses or different ranges of IP addresses, and you can kind of assign these um, however you want. So I've got one here for my main branch. So you can see I've got DHCP scopes in here. Um, these are manual. This is not going to pull this information directly from a DHCP server like um, Windows or, or something else. Um, but it, it at least is better than a spreadsheet, right? We have to agree on that. So um, in here, I can take the IP address, and whether this is on a live device or not, I can go in and assign this and assign an owner to it. So perhaps you've got different groups, different silos within your organizations. Um, perhaps the routers belong to the WAN guy. So I'm going to say the owner is the WAN guy. And the description for this particular IP address is this is the default gateway for 10.101.0.2.4. Right? Um, and again, there was that little details button for the manage that we saw in here that um, gives us the information as to what design, whether or not this IP address is assigned to a device that is actually managed within IMC. So we can also do um, a nice feature here as far as having child scope. So I have a 172.16. These are the addresses that I use for point-to-point -point links in my environment. So I'm going to say that the um, this particular range is a point-to-point -point link, so uh, 1601 and 1602 between the main site and branch number one. Um, so maybe I know branch number two is coming online, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to put in 117.16.0, uh, 2.1 and 2.2, and this is going to be the, uh, the WAN guy, again, is going to obviously own these, this is the WAN links, and I'm going to put in here a placeholder to say the description for point-to-point um, -point link, P2P, there we go, um, for reserved, right? This doesn't exist yet, so we're going to say reserved for connections to branch 2. Right? So we always want to be clear about our notes and our descriptions to make sure that someone else coming in can uh, know exactly what's going on. So you can see here we've got zero IP addresses used in that range and 100% used in the other range. Right? So it's just a way to be able to track this and have this always at your fingertips. Again, um, from a web accessible device where you can go through and you can find whatever you want. Right? So anybody who has access to the system is going to be able to look at the ranges. So as you assign new IP addresses to people, they can come in and they can look at the, device, the, the specific IP addresses that you've sent them. So there we are. I can look at perhaps the, you know my uh, my range here. So I know any, anything in starts with 220. These are the IP addresses, management addresses for my switches. So I can see now just by looking here that 223 is available. Um, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to create a new uh, a new allocation, and I'm going to say 223, and I'm going to leave it as admin. Um, or no, let's change this to land guy, right? 
let's let's be clear on our documentation and this is going to be the new switch management address so as part of our change process right I've now allocated the IP address someone can come in here and look at that that 223 and say hey you know what that is the new switch address that's the one I'm supposed to use and you can identify and, and, and ensure that you're not creating IP addressing conflicts in your environment and this is something a lot better than just using ping to, to detect whether or not your devices are actually there or not so the last feature we're going to look at um, is the auto scanning and this will allow you to really quickly get up and running in this feature it will, it will um, Go through that that entire segment that you've out, uh, created, scan through it, find what IP addresses are currently available there, and then allow you to to allocate them directly. So once you've allocated it, you're going to be able to go back in and provide more information. Um, and again, it's going to draw information from the resource if it's already got that put in. You know, the owner is going to be the device name. But if it's not in the IMC um, as a resource, as a managed resource, you're going to be able to go back in and add more information here. So this uh, 101. Um, there we found it, we queried it, we're going to click on the modify button, and now we're going to say who the owner is. So this is a server address, so the owner is going to be the server guy. And the description here is that this is a server running uh, my domain services. So maybe this is um, Active Directory, maybe this is uh, DNS. All right, so we'll do AD, DNS, DHCP, and I'm going to click OK. So again, now I've got a centralized um, repository for all the IP addresses in specific ranges and and um, really in enti my entire environment that's queryable I can query by owners so if you have different people responsible for different devices you can find out who's responsible for what and um, so that's really a uh, an overview of some of the little known IP address management features within IMC and again those are free just turn them on see you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial <laughs>